dear student today i will explain you how we can prepare a series of proper standard solutions and how we can draw a standard curve for this uh, we need a chemical thing copper base sorry chemical uh, for this experiment we need copper sulfate we will take uh, 3.9 gram copper sulfate pentohydrate and then we'll transfer it into a 1000 liter volumetric flask and will make its volume up to the mark so this solution will be of 1000 ppm copper solution now we will further it dilute uh, 1000 ppm to 100 ppm so for this uh, we need to take 10 ml from this 1000 ppm stock solution and then we'll transfer it in 100 ml volumetric flask and then we'll make its volume up to the mark so this solution will be of 100 ppm copper sub stock solution further we will dilute 100 ppm this sub stock solution to 10 ppm so for this we need to take 10 ml from 100 ppm sub stock solution and we'll transfer it into the 100 ml volumetric flask and then we'll make its volume up to the mark so this solution will be of 10 ppm second diluted stock solution from this 10 ppm uh, solution, a uh, sub stock solution, we will prepare a series of proper standard solution. For this, we, if we need to prepare 0 0.4 ppm copper solution, we will take 2 ml from this 10 ml, this volumetric flask, and then we'll transfer it into 50 ml flask and will make its volume up to the mark. So this solution will be of 0.4 ppm concentration. Further, uh, we will prepare 0.6 ppm solution. For this, we will take 3 ml from 10 ml solution, uh, 10 ppm solution, and then transfer these 3 ml into 50 ml volumetric flask, and will make its volume up to the mark. So this solution will be of 0 0.6 ppm uh, standard solution, working solution. So uh, for uh, 0 0.8 ppm, we will take 4 ml from 10 and 10 ppm copper solution. For 1 ml, we will take 5 ml and for 1.2 ppm copper solution, we need to take 6 ml from this 10 ppm copper solution. And then we'll make this volume up to the mark. So once these uh, series of copper standard solution are prepared, we will run them on the atomic absorption spectrophotometer and will record its uh, reading and then we'll uh, in the next step we will draw a standard curve so I will explain you how we can draw a standard curve from these copper <coughs> standard solution thank you very much